video is to show you how to download library ebooks onto your iPhone, iPad, tablet, or smartphone. For all devices, we start off by going to the respective app store, whether that be the App Store app on your iDevice or the Google Play Store on your Android device. Once we're in the store, we search for the Overdrive Media Console. Search in the search box. The Overdrive Media Console is a free app that you can download and it's blue with a white O in the icon. If you're prompted, you may need to enter in your password to your iTunes account. Then tap on open. If you see this screen here that says new and sign up, I'm just going to tap on do this later. What we do need to do now is enter in our Adobe ID and password in order to read library ebooks. If you don't already have a library, an Adobe ID, tap on get for a free Adobe ID. And get an Adobe ID. And you enter in your name, email address, and then you choose a password. You also will need to enter in a date of birth just for recovering your password should you forget it. Once you've completed this step, you then enter in your Adobe ID, which is your email address. And password. When you're ready, tap Authorize. You only do this step once. Next, we can find books. We start off by adding a library. I go I just search for West Fan. Tapping on search. West Vancouver Memorial Library is right here. And then we do want to choose the library system, British Columbia Libraries. Just tap on the star to remember the library for later. British Columbia Libraries is the collection of library ebooks that we have. It's called Library to Go. We have both library ebooks and downloadable audiobooks for you to enjoy. Our first step now, once we're in here, is to sign in again. This time just with our library card. Choose our library from the list. We type in our library card number. And our PIN. It's usually the last four digits of our phone number. Tap sign in, and this will be remembered by your device for next time as well. So you just need your library card with you the first time. Now we're ready to find and download books. We're just going to, today for the demo, go to the help. Just tap on borrow to borrow the book. You can borrow five books at a time for three weeks. You can see here in our account, our checkout limit is five. I currently have three checked out, which means I can check out two more if I want. I also have a hold limit of five, so I put five books on hold. And I can also use a wish list. When I'm ready, I tap on download EPUB ebook. And this moves the library ebook from the website onto my iPad. We tap on the menu button. Let me go to bookshelf. First time we'll get these little helpful hints. We can, as we've read them, we can tap on OK, got it. And our book is ready to read. We tap on the cover of the book to open the book. And on the right hand side of the page, to turn the 
pages, start the story. Tap on the sort of the center area of the screen. You get options like screen brightness, text size, and other settings. This button here is to share your book on uh, or sections of your book on Facebook or Twitter. This button in the top right hand corner is your table of contents if it's available. And on the left hand side those three lines are a menu button that would take us back to our bookshelf or back to the library website to find more books to read. When you're done for now, you tap on the home button and then you can check your email, do anything else, and your book will be waiting for you in the OverDrive app.